What's happening everyone? I just want to do uh, a quick little video here. Um, I've been reading a lot of a lot of people asking questions about how to make their worship sound better, specifically when they're using Zoom. And so I called my my good buddy Jeremy Nippard yesterday and we chatted for a bit and he suggested I should maybe do a short a short little video on some of the things I have I have learned through this process and I want to just start by saying I am not a master by any means. All of this stuff has been beyond my knowledge and I've had to learn as I go. But I have learned a couple of a couple of small tricks that has helped me have have worship sound better uh, over over uh, Zoom, and so I want to just share that with you really quickly if I can this morning, and hopefully you'll you'll help see a bit of a difference as well. And so what I'm going to do here really quickly is I'm going to uh, show you my screen. Let's fix that. Okay, so here's my screen here. So unfortunately, I don't know how to do this. Um, uh, on a Mac, I, I I haven't known anything but a Mac for a long time. So if you're if you're not on a Mac, that's okay. I am going to show you how to how to fix it um, on the actual uh, Zoom 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 app itself. And so, but firstly, I just want to walk through this. If you're using a a Mac, um, one of the things that you can do is very easily and quickly. You go up to the top here and you open up System Preferences, and then what you can do is you go to Sound. And you're going to go all the way to the, to the right input. And you're going to see down here, hopefully, this function here, use ambient noise reduction. And so what you're going to want to have to do is turn that off. Okay, when that's turned on, what that basically does is that helps the, helps the microphone in your Mac to isolate one single sound source. So this is good for if you're on like a conference call and you know, you're home with the kids and you don't want to hear all the noise in the background coming through your mic. You turn that on. And your and your Mac mic will only pick up just your voice. Well, that's not really good for when you try and have some worship time. And so, what you want to do is turn that off. And what that then allows allows your mic Mac to do is it allows your Mac to pick up everything that's happening um, in the room with you. So whether you're playing piano, strumming acoustic, it's going to pick up everything and not just change, you know, back and forth. Because what happens is when you when you have the use ambient noise reduction feature on, you're going to hear um, the instrument loud and then the voice loud and then and the instrument voice because that, what that's doing is that's trying to pick up one over the other. So if you turn that off, it's going to help your mic pick up everything. However, if you don't have a mic, uh, sorry, if you don't have a Mac or if for some reason your your Mac doesn't have that feature because there are some, some of the newer models that don't have this feature. There's something you can do in the actual Zoom app itself. So if we open Zoom like this, this is just me logged into Zoom here. If you go over to the right, you're going to see this little cog here. You're going to click Settings. You're going to go down to Audio. Okay, click Audio. You're going to see how you have a speaker. You have your microphone. If you come down to Advanced, you click that. You're going to see this here, which says Show In Meeting Option to Enable original sound from your microphone. You want to make sure that's turned on. And what that does is that's going to do the same feature as I showed uh, just then in the sense that Zoom is now going to pick up all the audio that is in the room with you. And so if you come down here to audio processing, you want to make sure that the um, suppression is turned off. This is good for your front, again, if you're on like a conference call and you want to have all the background noise filtered out. Turn that on, that's great. But if you, if you want the microphone um, in your laptop to pick up everything, whether it's an acoustic, a keyboard, an amp, disable these two features and then your, your, your Zoom app will then pick up everything. And so once that happens, once you do that, you, you have that selected, you have these on, disable, you close out of this. And let's say I just want to start a meeting really quick. There I am. So what we're going to do is, you see how up here and now it says turn on original sound. When you click that, it means that now your um, original sound is on. If you see that it says turn off original sound, it means that it's actually turned on and you have to click it to turn it off. And so that's just another simple feature that you can do. And um, I've been doing worship now over Zoom for 
uh, the last couple of months and this has worked really well for me. Uh, so I hope that helps. Again, I'm not an expert in any way, but those are just two simple things that I've learned to do that can help make your worship sound just, just a little bit better than having it choppy back and forth, instrument voice, instrument voice. So hope that helps. Peace. <laughs>